Jeff Simon here again at NBAA 2022 in Orlando. I'm here with Tom Harper of Avidine. How are you doing, Tom? Great. How are you doing, Jeff? Uh, you know, I, I have to tell you, I am such a huge fan of Avidine. We have it in the Mustang that we're building, have it in the Bonanza with two Avidines that we fly with. And um, one of the things I like the most about it is that there are seemingly endless number of ways to do things which is really good when uh, everyone's got their own preference and you want to do things your own way, yep. which uh, I like kind of being individualistic that way. And so you just showed me a new one and that is uh, using the keyboard. So I have the keyboard and the Bonanza mounted on the yoke, which yep. is great, one on each side for both the, uh, the top one with the 550, uh, the IFT 550, and then I have the four, uh, 440 below it. Yep. And uh, one of the cool things is you've got this data field here, a uh, set of data uh, uh, blocks that you can totally customize, and they come out on this you know tray, but I have always been going and touching the screen in order to do that and bring those out, and that's a really similar thing on other pages, but you showed me that I can do it without taking my hands all over, off the yoke, because yes. I can just use the keyboard. So show me how I can switch screens, but then have the hidden feature of holding this down. Well, there's actually three ways to retract that data block. Of course, you show the touch. Yeah. But you can also push and hold the map button. These are two-way rockers, and yep. that'll bring it in, and you push it again, and it'll retract. So if, 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 if you're bouncing around, that makes it much easier. But as you said, if you have the Bluetooth keyboard hooked up as well, you can push and hold the button for three seconds, and it will retract or bring out the tray and push and hold it again for three seconds and it'll retract. So now you can keep your hands in front of you and still manipulate the IFD nice and easily with the keyboard. I love that, like that's so cool. And we're finding a place where we're gonna like mount something also on the Mustang because same deal, like you you know, your hands on stick and it's 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 a light control aircraft. Yep. So you don't necessarily want to be have, you know, hands off doing a bunch of things where you're reaching. The idea that that the keyboard can be there for that as well. Right. That's that's so cool. Yeah, it's it seems a nice like little I'm, trick. I'm always learning these things and I, and I just love the user interface on it. And so uh, the other thing is, on the FMS, you have similar controls, right? Well, of course, I can change pages by changing the page buttons here instead of the page buttons here. So if I cycle through, now I'm on the FMS page, and if I push and hold it, one, two, three, and let up, I've got the full FMS, push and hold it again. I've got FMS Plus, which we call FMS Plus page, because it has the map. Again, push and hold the button, push and hold the button, or use the touch or use the button here. That's awesome, and I know I've used it for all those controls where I can switch, I can go to the synthetic vision view you can see here, which is just awesome. Right. I mean, and it also has data blocks, so push and hold it, and you get your data blocks on the SVS page. Yeah, and the other thing I want to point out, of course, and you know, one of the things that's wonderful is uh, Avidine, you guys are always rolling out updates, and those updates uh, so far have been free of charge, free and of they, charge, they come with new features. Yeah, absolutely. So we just came out with visual approaches yep. and uh, descent guidance and so many things that are, are new, and it just, it just was a software update. Right. Right, even the people that bought the very first IFDs since that purchase have added synthetic vision. Of course, now we got visual approaches, uh, charts, uh, wireless connectivity wasn't yeah. in the original box. So, you know, so uh, we try to add value by just adding new software as we go, and that's really the power of these new AV, the new electronics uh, right. that gives us that flexibility to add new features. Yeah, well, you know, uh, Avidine is uh, really a strong supporter of social flight, very much appreciate that. And uh, it's very sincere how I feel about your products just because I love the ways you can interact, the fact you're uh, committed to integrating with just about everything else out there. I mean, we're even putting cameras in on the Mustang That's that are right. gonna be able to show on the 550. That's right. um, just the integration is wonderful. And then like we've just talked about, your commitment to staying with the customer and keep coming out with new features so that the product just basically ends up being timeless. And uh, uh, we've had a great experience. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Absolutely. For NBAA 2022, I'm Jeff Simon, Blue Skies.